Hello everyone. In this video, we will do step by step demonstration of uh, how to save user profiles on Azure storage for Windows Virtual Desktop using FS Logix. Here is a, a small diagram of the environment in which I would be working. So this is my on-prem Active Directory where I create a user account and that user account identity gets synced to Azure AD using Azure AD Connect. From there, I will create an Azure ADDS managed domain. So my Azure Active Directory domain is uh, anudev.co.in. I will create a managed Azure ADDS domain called adds.anudev.co.in. So identities first sync from on-prem to Azure AD, then they will sync to Azure ADDS. After that, I will create a storage account in which I will create Azure files in which I will create a container for Azure files and then integrate it with Azure ADDS. I will also create a, a Windows uh, virtual desktop machine which will domain join my Azure ADDS domain. So my user at home will connect to Windows virtual desktop and it will get authenticated through Azure AD. So if I have any MFA or conditional access policies applied, they will apply on it and uh, based on that user will get the Windows Virtual Desktop. But once the user logs off, where does the user profile data store? So this time the user profile data will store on Azure files. So the next time when user connects to another desktop, another Windows Virtual Desktop, then the profile is uh, already stored on Azure file. So he will get all the data back on his new desktop. So this is uh, how we gonna set it up. And if you have seen my previous videos of, of uh, Windows Virtual Desktop where I created the Windows Virtual Desktop pool, uh, applied conditional access to block the access to all the locations only allow from a specific location. And also my video on how to create Azure ADDS, then you will have some basic idea what we are going to do. So the first step in the whole process is to create Azure ADDS domain, which I have already done and create a file share. Here I am on Azure and uh, I already have my Azure ADDS uh, service created called adds.anudev.co.in. I will create a storage account here in the same region where I will save the profiles and link it to my Azure ADDS service. I'm creating a storage account in Australia East. The storage account name is uh, a unique one. It's the it is a B2 account and locally redundant storage just to reduce the cost. All the steps are default and uh, I will go ahead and create it now. Storage account has been created now. We'll go to configuration, enable ADDS integration on it, save the settings, then go to file share. Here we will create the file share where we will save the files. FS1, I will specify one GB as quota. So our file share is created. Now we will give the shared level permission. So even on a Windows machine, if you create a shared folders, you give shared level and security level permission. So I will give the shared level permission to the user IDs, which will access the Windows Virtual Desktop. So I will go to add role assignment. I will give SMB contributor access to the group in which I have users which will access Windows Virtual Desktop. So my shared level permission are done. Now we will have to provide security level permissions. For the next step, I will go back to my storage account and copy the access keys. Now I will go to a machine which is part of this uh, ADDS domain. So this is a 2016 server, which I already created and joined it to my cloud domain, which is Azure ADDS domain. And I will connect to it and resume the video. I am now logged into my Windows 2016 server, which is part of my Azure ADDS domain. I need uh, these three inf piece of information, the access key, which I copied, the the SMB path to my file share, the storage account in which I created the FS1 folder. So path to that and uh, the storage account name. Here is the command which I will run to map the file share. So net use x colon x is the drive letter name. Then path to my file share. 
slash user colon azure backslash the storage account name and then the access key the command has completed so my x drive is now mapped and now i will have to assign users the security rights on this uh, share this is the command to provide access to the user i cackles x colon and then user id and colon and in the bracket f for full access so i will provide access to three users so i will come back after doing that access has been given to all the three users the next step in the process is to create a windows uh, virtual desktop image a custom image which i will use to create desktops in that image i will install the fs logix client and uh, modify the registry to specify the path for this file share to store the user profiles so in part two of my windows virtual desktop i have already shown how to create the image custom image and uh, capture it so i will not go into the details and uh, pause the video and complete that process i'm logged into my windows 10 machine which i will capture and use to create the virtual desktop on this i downloaded fs logix client app which I would go ahead and install. So it's simple uh, wizard will click on next, next and install it. Installation is complete. The next step would be to create some registry keys, which would be under HKey local machine software FS logix. Here I will right click and click on new key profiles. Here uh, we will create a D word value called new D word and the value would be enabled one and another one which would be new multi string value which would be VHD locations. The value under VHD locations would be our file share location on Azure storage account where we will save the profiles. So here is my file storage account name and the file share. So this is fine now. Now we will sysprep this machine and shut it down and use the image of this machine to create Windows Virtual Desktops. I will pause the video and come back once it's done. Now the Windows machine is sysprepped and shut down. I will copy the VHD path and create a Windows Virtual Desktop host pool using this image. I will pause the video and come back once it is done. If you want to see the steps how to create Windows Virtual Desktop host pool or how to create host pool using a custom image or how to create a custom image, please see my previous videos. So I will pause it and come back once it's done. My host pool has been created. So now I will try to connect it with one of my user accounts and see if the profiling works or not. So let me try connecting to the VM and see whether it works or not. So it is applying FX Logix app services. So it seems that the FX Logix has kicked in and the profile should be working now. So I am logging in with my test2 account and if I go to my storage in Azure, I could see that uh, under my files share, under FS1, the folder where I specified the directory for saving profiles, I have this folder which got created and it has the profile uh, test2.bhd for this user account. So this user account now, if it logs into any other uh, Windows Virtual Desktop machine on this host pool, which has been created using this image, which has FS Logix uh, client and also the registry setting to specify the profile path to this location, will be able to get all the files, folders and settings which are part of the profile. So here was a small demo on uh, how to use Azure storage account for saving the profiles for user using FS Logix in Windows Virtual Desktop. I hope you liked it and uh, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.